Hello guys, welcome to my channel Weird Wacky Wonderful and today we're going to be doing gear ratios of a motorcycle and how you can use those gear ratios and the uh, sizes of your, your size of your tyre to calculate your vehicle speed. So if you strip down a bike and you want to know what uh, the overall speed of the vehicle at a certain RPM is going to be, you can do that by count, uh, counting all the teeth. So this one will be our crankshaft and that will be rotating at a certain RPM if we're going to calculate the vehicle speed in a certain gear. Now, the, the crankshaft drives the clutch, or, well, the flywheel on the back of the clutch, and that is then driven by the crankshaft. So the dr driven gear will be the clutch, and the driver gear will be the crankshaft. Now, that's important because driven over driver equals your uh, gear ratio to 1 for that so uh, then on the back of your clutch you have your output sh input shaft rather for your gearbox and your output shaft so we'll put them there so that will be gear ratio 2 this will be gear ratio 1 and then from the output shaft you have the rear sprocket going to the front sprocket rather sorry uh, going to the rear sprocket and that will be gear ratio 3 so you've got a certain amount of teeth here, a certain amount of teeth here, a certain amount of teeth here for all of those and then you can calculate the first gear ratio, the second gear ratio and the third gear ratio so for each of those gear ratios you're going to do driven over driver and then you're just going to times them together so driven over driver times driven over driver times driven over driver so you do all these first and then times them all together gives you your overall gear ratio so to then calculate wheel speed from that you have your rear wheel should be the one that's powered hopefully so your rear wheel circumference times 60 times the RPM of the vehicle divided by so all this divided by a thousand times your overall gear ratio okay so do that one first divide it by the bottom and if you're going to do this on a calculator put all that in brackets times that by the transmission efficiency which is usually a percentage and uh, so if, you, if it was 90% efficient you would times it by 0 0.9 usually bikes are over 90% efficient and then that would give you your road speed in kilometers per hour okay so just to recap over that for your every gear in your bike you have uh, a certain amount of teeth on that gear so on your crank on the end of your crank going to your clutch flywheel you will have teeth on there you will have teeth on the flywheel then you only need to take into account which gear you're doing so say you were doing first gear you'd have to find out which gears were for first gear uh, then count the number of teeth on the input shaft count the number of teeth on the output shaft it's driven over driver so the output shaft is being driven by the input shaft so driven teeth divided by driver teeth would give you your gear ratio for that then again rear sprocket over front sprocket would give you your gear ratio for that times them all together your rear wheel circumference I will go into in another video but obviously that's just pi times diameter but to do that from a tyre size unless you've already measured how the size of the diameter of the tyre you will have to do it off tyre size uh, but if you have got the diameter of the tyre pi times diameter times 60 times the RPM over a thousand times your overall, overall gear ratio which you've got over here <clears throat> times by your transmission efficiency and there you go vehicle speed in kilometers per hour so I hope this has been helpful <clears throat> sorry about the sore throat and hopefully do more videos like this in the future thanks for watching guys bye